Hey, what's up guys? This is Chad. This is another screencast with Open Source Systems, screencast 004. Uh, this one is a continuation of 001, 002, and 003. What we're gonna do is we're gonna expand on our CentOS Linux virtual machine a little bit. We're actually gonna install a LAMP stack. Now LAMP stack, for those who don't know, is a Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP technology stack uh, installed on a server which allows you to essentially do dynamic web pages and to be honest with you this is kind of what got Facebook started Facebook was initially written in PHP and, and ran a MySQL backend uh, so with this technology stack now you have the ability to essentially build pretty much whatever you want it's, it's a really good foundation and we're actually going to do that inside of our new virtual machine so this is a really good screencast to help you understand the technologies involved with the web, uh, how they work together, how they interact. Uh, I have to be honest, installing all this stuff on a CentOS Linux box is a little bit more involved than installing on, let's say, a Windows machine or a Mac. You can install this stack on a Mac or on Windows. Uh, in other screencasts, we show you how to do that. In this one, we're going to do it on our CentOS Linux box. It uh, Most of it is command line driven. So uh, hopefully you have a little bit of familiarity with that or, or at least are comfortable with it. But don't worry because we're going to walk you through this step by step. So anyways, we're going to start off. We're going to go ahead and launch our virtual machine. Select your CentOS virtual machine here. Click the start button. What this is, is this is now a, uh, essentially I'm launching the, the CentOS snapshot that we created uh, at the end of uh, screencast 003 which um, was the guest editions. So this virtual machine does have all the guest editions installed and up to date. So we'll let this boot real quick. All right, fantastic. Now go ahead and log in. So we're gonna launch this VM real quick. Go ahead and close this little alert box. All right, so this is my desktop here for my virtual machine. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by going to the upper left hand corner over here going to applications and then we're going to open up our terminal again so go to system tools and terminal now this is our terminal another thing I'm actually going to do real quick is I'm going to go ahead and switch to full screen mode this is going to put the virtual machine in full screen which uh, for me and you now it should look like I'm running a Linux box not a not a Mac but uh, don't don't be fooled this is a virtual machine running on a Mac so we're gonna go ahead and just expand this real quick, our, our uh, terminal box. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna do three things here. We, we first need to install all of our tools, Linux, um, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Then we need to run the servers, being the Apache web server and the MySQL server. And then we need to test our installation to make sure everything is working okay. So we're gonna go through those three steps. Uh, first thing was we need we need to do is install. Uh, so I'm gonna su as root. We're gonna perform all these functions as root. Um, enter your root password that you created when you built your VM. And again, a wrong password. My apologies. Okay, so now that we are root, you can tell again by this little hashtag there. Uh, what we're gonna do is we are going to first connect to the internet you're running DH client like we did before. Once we're connected with an IP address, we're going to install a repository called Webtatic. And the reason we're gonna install this is because it contains some of the latest PHP versions. Now in future screencasts, uh, we need the latest PHP versions because we're gonna be doing some advanced uh, testing and, and tools using PHP. Uh, so we're gonna need the latest version, not uh, not the earlier versions that are in the, the base repository. So in order to install this repo, we need to just run the command RPM and pass it the flags dash, capital U, lowercase v, lowercase h, okay? And then we're gonna pull it from the following uh, HTTP uh, address, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash mirror dot webtactic.com slash yum slash el6 slash latest dot rpm. All right, so you notice it'll go through the installation here. Everything looked okay. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to install all of our 
uh, stack, our, our, our entire LAMP stack, and we're actually gonna do that in just one single command using yum. So now that we have this repo installed, we're gonna do yum-y install, and then we're gonna do enable dash dash enable repo equals web tatic. I, I think I'm pronouncing that right, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna install the following packages httpd space mysql dash server space mysql space php 55w space php 55w dash mysql okay so what i'm going to do here is this this is essentially your your stack right here your httpd is your web server so that's what serves out the http stuff your mysql server that is your database server this is actually a command line client that we're installing uh, to, to interface with our server uh, this is the php so this is the engine this is the the, the software that we're going to write our web stuff in and we are installing the version 5.5 I think it's dot seven is what comes with this one, but it's called PHP 5.5. Don't forget that W at the end. That means that it's coming from the web tactic repository. Then this last part here, the PHP to 5.5 W dash MySQL, that is actually a module. It's a PHP module that allows PHP to connect to the MySQL server. Okay. So we're going to need that as well for future screencasts when we're actually doing some PHP MySQL development. All right. So go ahead and just hit the enter key and it, we should see it installing all these packages now. We're gonna go ahead and just fast forward this so you don't have to sit through it. All right, that's it. Now we now have our LAMP stack uh, installed. Everything looks like it was uh, successfully completed. So we should be good there. Okay, as I stated before, there's three things we're doing. We're installing, we're running, and then we're testing. So we just went ahead and did the installation process. I'm gonna prove this to you because we're gonna run the command php dash dash version and that's going to show you what version of PHP we're running now, 5.5.7, okay? So that just shows you that we, we did install PHP, and, and we've got, uh, I think, a version, the latest version, or maybe just a, a subversion behind, or a minor version behind. So, okay, so next thing we have to do is we have to uh, turn on our, our servers. Our, our, now, remember, there's two servers. There's a web server, and there's a database server, and we have to turn those on. So I'm gonna show you real quick how we can test our web server. We're just gonna open up a browser here. This is Firefox. Now, when we get this server running, it's gonna run on a, on a site called localhost. And that's just one word. So if you just type localhost here in the bar, you hit the enter key. What you're gonna notice is, well, let's try that again. What you're gonna notice is that Firefox says that it's not able to connect to localhost. The reason is because we don't have a server running on localhost yet that will allow Firefox to connect to it. So we need to go ahead and turn that server on. The way we're gonna do that is we're first going to run chkconfig, and then we're gonna say httpd on. Now what that does is that tells our server to start the web server whenever the server starts. So to automatically start from now on. So now we're good. We don't have to do this manual process anymore. We're also gonna do that for MySQL. So do chk config in my sql d on okay so that didn't actually turn on this on the servers it just told the operating system linux it just told them to start the servers automatically whenever we boot up our virtual machine okay but now we are going to actually turn the servers on and the way we do that is we do service space httpd start Okay. Now you notice here that it told us that it could not reliably determine our fully qualified domain name. That's okay. But the big thing is we just want to make sure that this is okay and it doesn't say fail. All right. So if you say okay there, then you now have a server and let me prove that to you. So we just turned on our HTTP web server. We're going to go back to the, um, to the web browser here, hit the refresh button. And now you'll notice that our Apache web server powered by CentOS is up and running. So that's good. Uh, let's go to, uh, oh, our, our MySQL server now. So to, to start that, we're gonna go service, mysqld start. 
And this one says uh, a few more things, but really what we're looking at at the end here is okay and okay. We just wanna make sure that that doesn't fail, okay? Uh, now that's it, that is step two. We have installed our LAMP packages, uh, our LAMP stack. We are running our LAMP stack. Uh, now we just need to test. And the way we're gonna test this is we're first going to create a PHP, some PHP code, okay? And we're gonna do that using a, an inline uh, command um, editing tool called Vi or Vim, okay? So the way we're gonna run this is we're gonna do vi space forward slash var forward slash www forward slash html and then we're going to do forward slash index dot oops index dot php okay so we are now creating this file called index dot php go ahead and hit the i key on your keyboard the letter i okay now what that does that that puts you in insert mode so now we can put the php code so go ahead and put the following. Do a less than and then a question mark PHP that tells uh, that we're gonna do some PHP code and just run the following code, PHP info and then do uh, the, the parens there. Do a semicolon, do another question mark and then a greater than sign, okay? That is our PHP code that we're running to test our PHP installation. Now hit the escape key to escape out of insert mode and hit colon WQ. Okay, look at the bottom left hand side there, you see the colon WQ and then hit the enter key. Okay, that actually saves that file. Now if we go back to our web browser and we refresh, you'll notice now that we have some PHP stuff that shows up. So this is all really good, um, really good signs. This, this means that really our entire LAMP stack is uh, up and running. I mean, it's really that simple. Uh, the only thing we're going to do real quick is we're going to go ahead and just secure our MySQL installation because, well, I like security. So to do that, we're going to type MySQL underscore SEC and go ahead and hit the tab key. That's going to tab out the following command, but it's MySQL underscore secure underscore installation. Hit enter. Uh, go ahead and enter your root password. Uh, oh, my apologies. We This is our root password for our database, which we don't have one right now. So go ahead and just hit the enter key. Don't, don't type anything in here, just hit enter. Okay, so we are gonna say yes, go ahead and set a root password. So we're gonna set our root password here. We're going to remove anonymous users, yes. We're going to disallow remote login, yes. We are going to remove the test database, yes. You're going to hit the Y key and hit enter for all these. And that's it. So we now have uh, uh, MySQL uh, installed, secured, ready to go. Uh, one thing we can do if you want, we can do a service, MySQLD, and then a restart. That should restart the MySQL server uh, just to make sure that these uh, security changes are applied. So that is it. That's uh, We now have a full LAMP installation on our CentOS machine. Hopefully that was pretty easy. If you have any questions, please reach out to us on our website, ossys.com. Also feel free to visit our community section, ossys.com slash community, where you can uh, sign up for free. Reach out to us. We're there to help. Thank you very much for watching and uh, hope to see you on the next one. Bye.